Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing another one of those wines that I picked up at Costco before my wife took away my membership card for spending too much money. Anyway, stay tuned for the 2019 Kirkland Signature Cote du Rhone Village. Hey everybody, before I begin today's video, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and do all the things that people do who like the content, or at least are willing to tolerate it. Anyway, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Kirkland Signature Costco 2019 Cotes de Rhone Village. It is 14.5% alcohol by volume, so I expect that there could be a little bit of heat coming off of this. So let's get into the color. And while I'm pouring the sample, uh, in case you're not familiar, there are certain classifications within this area. Um, so I'm sure you've probably heard of Cotes de Rhone, uh, it's one of the largest AOCs, especially within the Rhone area of France. Uh, the Village is the next level up. It's not quite Chateau Neuf de Pop, but it's below it. It's the second largest region. So it's a step up in terms of what you're going to get, but it's not the top tier. And in terms of red grapes from the area, you have a lot of stuff like Syrah, uh, Cinso, Carignan, Cunha. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a good chunk of what you have. There's a ton of other grapes, but those are some of the major ones, especially the secondary blenders. Uh, so let's get to the color. Uh, from a color standpoint, ooh, you are dark. Ooh, you are dark. You are a deep ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. So on the nose, ooh, you're an interesting mix of light and dark with a little bit of like a dry and candy note. You're a little bit all over the place. So in terms of dark fruit, I'm getting some blackberry, just a touch of blueberry. I know blueberry is kind of blue in classification, but whatever, I'm gonna consider it dark. Uh, I'm also getting a little bit of plum, but it's like a fresh plum. It's like a really tart, fresh plum. I'm also getting a little bit of a black cherry. I'm also getting raspberry. There's a touch of cranberry on this, and there's like a little bit of like a red currant going on. So like I said, it's a little bit of everything here. Uh, in, in terms of secondary, I'm getting just a little bit, just a little bit of, of cinnamon, a little bit of like allspice. There's also just this underlying grapiness. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to describe it other than like, if I had to compare it to a grape, I would say it kind of has just like a gamay type of note to it, uh, like a, a Beaujolais Nouveau type character. If I had to go into a weirder description, I would say it smells almost like a grape ice pop. Like whenever like the dude drives around and is like playing the song to attract children to the street to take their money in a really creepy but yet Americana kind of way, that's exactly what I'm talking about here. Anyway, uh, child issues aside, how does it taste? Okay, this is bone dry. Bone dry. Medium plus acid. Tannins. Medium plus tannins, but they're silky. The, the tannins are still silky, but they're they're in this weird way where it's like, the tannins are really well integrated. They're, they're soft, but yet you still get this whole chalk effect in your mouth. It's really kind of strange in, that, in, ter in terms of how those tannins are really working together. However, though, I will say I nailed it with the grape icicle thing because that is definitely an underlying element. That's way stronger on the palate than it is on the nose. All the other elements in terms of the primary flavors are really blended well together and they just kind of play along the entire way. And then you kind of get like in the mid palate this just great guy coming out of the weird van. And I don't know where all this van stuff came from. Maybe this is digging up memories from the past. Anyway, so you just get this really strong grape effect going through as an underlying element in the mid palate going into the finish. But in the end, everything still plays really well together. In terms of body, it's a medium plus body. Alcohol, it tastes medium. If there's a medium plus in the W set level three, then I would say that uh, because it does have a little bit of a burn, but it's not high enough to where I would say this is a high alcohol wine, on at least on the palate or on the nose. Uh, intensity on the palate, medium plus intensity, it actually has a pretty good intensity. I think this would pair amazingly well with some food. I don't know if it's a solo drinker just because I think as you get further into it, that wine is really going 
to wrestle on your palate between the tannins and the acid and you need something to kind of taper it down. So this might be a food wine. Uh, anyway, with that being said, how does it rate? Let's get to the Blick. Uh, from a balance standpoint, I think you're in balance. I have no complaints, full point. Length, medium plus finish, half a point. If you had gone for about 15 seconds longer, you would definitely have a long finish. This is a pretty robust wine for not looking like a robust wine. It just looks like normal wine. But this thing, this thing, regardless of who you are, will grow hair on your chest. In terms of intensity, medium on the nose, medium plus intensity on the palate, half a point. Complexity, I'm getting primary, secondary, I'm getting no tertiary, half a point. In the end, I'm gonna go ahead and bump you up to a very good wine because I'm very impressed with this wine. I really am. This wine has a lot of good elements. That's a lot of character to it. And you know what? Hold on a second. Yeah, I need to go condition my chest now. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2019 Kirkland Signature Costco Coat de Rome Village? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm gonna look like Chewbacca by the time I'm done with this bottle. It'll be worth it. I'll see you later.